So what you see here before you is uh, a helical pile. Um, these metal components are bolted together with a cap on the top and a screw on the bottom. Now that screw is really just a, a circular section of metal that's been cut and welded to be a, sort of a cutting screw head so that when rotated, this will drill into the earth. And it's installed with a piece of heavy equipment, you know, a mini excavator, that has a specialty head that can measure the torque, the rotational force that it's pressing down. And when it reaches a certain desired level of resistance, you have achieved the resistance you need to support a big structure. When we built this project, our overdig was essentially wide enough that we were undermining the soil in many of the areas that we would need to place a concrete form. So what we chose to do instead, we chose to install helical piles after backfill and settlement had happened. But in doing so, it gave us a little bit of leeway on the brick columns. It allowed us, as I said, to be able to move around and backfill much better and to not have these large columns, frankly, sticking up out of the ground that we had to avoid. Through. 